know, the whole thing I find funny with a lot of people who believe in ancient astronauts who came to Earth. You know, the Palladians, the Draconians, many, many other so-called races of aliens who came to Earth. Is that they talk about planets like Pluto. Oh, hang on. They didn't talk about any of the other very small planets, which are now designated... Not truly a planet, not a major planet, but a minor planet, a planetoid. So they mentioned the major ones, the ones which you could find anyway, more or less. And, you know, allegedly, they got some of the details kind of right, if you interpret the data in the right way. Turns out, and here's the fun thing... It's actually a question of poor journalism. Yeah, the theories about certain information matching, translation by amateurs, or simply people trying to make some money off this, people with an agenda, very often. They try and say there's a match-up between these things. But to the point, if ancient astronauts brought knowledge of Pluto... Why didn't they bring any knowledge of the other planetoids in the solar system? You know, the other small planets. And how come, in books written back in the 70s, or before, about ancient aliens, where they claim they tell the ancient people of all of the moons of those planets, it's based on the data of the 70s or of whenever the books and papers the pseudoscience was compiled because they're looking for a pattern or to try to make it seem like there is a pattern when there isn't to sell a book to push an agenda ridiculous isn't it basically pseudoscientists make up stuff or make stuff fit to sell a book people believe it and then it gets weaved into New Age and the Galactic Federation of Light. Swallow it, hook, line and sinker.